Hello everybody, it's Bleakborn and today I'm coming at you from the Reptile Room with a video detailing the importance of isopods in your vivarium, so please stay tuned! Well, guys, let's talk about isopods and their importance in your vivarium. They are also known as roly-polies, pill bugs, or woodlouse. These little tiny invertebrates are actually closer to being a crustacean than they are an actual bug. Um, what they do in your vivarium is they act as your guys' janitors. They pick up and break down materials that is waste materials in your tank, um, aka uh, dying dead plant matter, old poop, or animals like they break down everything, turn it into nutrients for your tank. Um, beyond that, they also aerate your soil by digging little tiny tunnels within, and they also stir your substrate so it doesn't get stagnant and nasty and smell like a swamp. So they're very, very important, along with having springtails in your vivarium. That said, there is many, many species of isopods, and many different ones act in different ways. Um, the most important one that you usually will want for your vivarium, at least starting out, is the white, tiny, dwarf white isopods. They are small, they burrow, and will definitely add a little bit of color, but mostly they'll do the janitorial work. Um, they don't run very fast, so they will end up as snacks for your um, dart frogs, but that said, that's not always a bad thing. Those dart frogs are always looking for food, so... Um, I would always recommend culturing some, having some on hand, and restocking your t tank once in a while. Um, but, that said again, there's many other more interesting larger species that are just cool looking, like the zebras, or the calico, or the duckies. There's so many types. Even the giant canyon ones look really, really cool. Um, I haven't put them in a tank yet because they're just a little bit too big, but they're very, very important, and there's so many different types. Um, I would recommend, at least starting out, getting the dwarf whites, and then maybe getting a faster gray species. But this is Bleakborn, um, and this is my small, short little segment on isopods and their importance for your vivarium. Next time, I'll have a little small segment on springtails. Um, very similar, but they have their own different use. So, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. This is Bleakborn, and have a nice day, and I'll see you around.